Hey y'all, Tanny Cooks here, and today we're gonna make some delicious curry fried cabbage. So, let's get to cooking. Now, we're going to have some beef sausage in this cabbage, as well as some yellow onions, Jamaican curry powder, hot and regular, as well as onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. A very delicious dish for those of you who love your cabbage. So, I'm gonna start off with cutting my sausage. You just want to cut them into bite-sized pieces. This is beef kielbasa. I have my skillet on the stove heating up on medium heat and I have some water in the pan because I want to make sure that my sausage is cooked through before it sears on the outside. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to cut open my yellow onion and slice it. I am not Jamaican, but I do love Jamaican curry powder flavor, and I like to experiment using my favorite seasonings from around the world in different recipes. So here I wanted to fuse it with my traditional southern fried cabbage recipe and see how it comes out. I know it will be delicious. So now that my onion is sliced, I am ready to get started with cutting my cabbage. Now these cabbages did have the dark leafy greens on the outside, but I took those off and I used them for another recipe. I'll link it at the end of this video for some delicious um, sausage, turkey sausage and rice stuffed cabbage. So now I'm just using the interior part of the cabbage for this curry cabbage recipe. So you can cut your cabbage however you like it. These are medium sized pieces that I'm gonna cut into squares, kind of bite sized pieces, similar to the size of my beef kielbasa that's already in the pan cooking. So you can see some of the oil has rendered out of the sausage. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more sesame oil because I want to have enough oil to saute my onions. I want to gently saute these onions until they are translucent. I'm not looking to get a hard sear or char on them. So now that that's done, I took my sausage and onions out of the pan. I'm going to use the same pan to cook my cabbage because I want all that flavor that's already in that pan to be infused into my cabbage. So I'm adding about a half a cup of water. You can add water as needed to give the cabbage some moisture that it needs to lightly steam and cook through before we actually fry it with the additional oil. So I'm just slicing up my other cabbage into similar sized pieces. This would be delicious with red cabbage also. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have a preference for green cabbage or red cabbage. I like both of them actually. So now that my cabbage is in my pan, you can see the water. I'm adding a little bit more water. Now I'm adding some seasoning. So I'm adding my onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. This is seasoning salt. If you don't want to use salt, you can use the sodium-free no-salt product, black pepper. And now I'm giving it a gentle mix just to make sure each piece is covered with some seasoning and I have the top on it to let it cook down and steam. And you can see that the cabbage is turning nice and translucent. That's exactly what we want. So now that it's cooked to the point that I want it to be, I'm adding my cooked sausage and sauteed onions to the cabbage. We're almost ready for the final step and here we are. We're gonna add our Jamaican curry powder. Now I like to mix the hot and the regular. To me, the flavors are just different but I don't notice one being hotter than the other but that could just be this brand or just my taste buds. So you wanna add about a tablespoon of curry powder. It really depends on how much cabbage uh, you have. So just start with a tablespoon and then add more if you feel like you need it after you get it mixed and decide. You'll start to notice the color change and get that beautiful curry color. Absolutely delicious and this curry powder has a yummy flavor. So I'm just gonna put the lid on and let it cook some more until it is completely done. Look at that y'all. Jamaican curry fried cabbage, so delicious. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.